Hi folks, welcome again. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do another beverage that normally we serve to our friends and family around Christmas time. It's called sorrel. Now sorrel you, you could get more Julia these days because people could um, pick the sorrel, dry it, and you could get it like I think it's sold commercially commercially now I'm um, in packets so you could get it anytime during the year. So what I have, I have the actual fruit. I have some fruit, sorrel fruit here. Then I'll show you how it peels. quite simple to peel. So I have some sorrel there. I have um, one cup of sugar. This could be moderated, depends on how sweet it is. I really like my stuff too sweet. I have half cup of rum. I don't really want it too strong this time. I have a piece of ginger and some cinnamon and a piece of orange peel. This, is, this the rum is optional. The orange peel is optional. It just gives it a nice flavor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you next how to peel the fruit if you actually get your hands on some fruit sour fruit. Okay, so here I have a few of the fruits here and this is basically how you peel them. Just like, just peel off outer part like this. And this is the seed. You can basically plant this. And this is what we're going to use to make our sour beverage. So I'll just continue to do a few more. So you could see how easy this is. Everything is going to go into a pot to boil. And when everything is fully boiled and it's um, set for a while, all of this will be discarded. So it's all good. Your fingers will get like a little red after a while, after constantly peeling. But it, it washes off very easily. So I'll continue this and then we'll go to the other step. So here's my sorrel all cleaned and everything. So I'm going to add some water. I'm going to put it to boil. So I'm going to add some water. If I have to fill the pot, I'm going to add the lime peel, sorry, orange peel. The cinnamon, just add everything to the pot. The piece of um, ginger. I'm going to add some more water. Now I'm going to put this on the fire, let this boil for about 15 minutes. Okay folks, here's the sorrel. Uh, it has been boiling for about 15 minutes now. So I'm going to turn it off and let this steep overnight and I'll continue the process tomorrow. Okay, see you in the morning. Okay folks, so here's my sorrel that I had so, um, steeping last night. I strained out the pulp from the sorrel fruit and um, this is the end product here. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to sweeten it. I'm going to add a few drops of Angostura bitters. You know, initially I said I'm going to, um, one of the ingredients was, was rum, I think. I'm not going to put rum this time. I don't feel for rum. Too much rum already. So I'm just going to gradually add my sugar. So basically I had uh, one cup of sugar here. And this is basically we, we are all done. The next thing we just need to do like um refrigerate it, keep it chilled. Um you know when you're ready to serve you just put some ice and serve your your sour beverage. Now the alcohol, the rum is based is also a different flavor as well as it helps to keep the um sour drink lasting longer. It may last about two, three, up to six months in the fridge without with tasting just as good. So the alcohol has, of course, many um, benefits of having it in your drink as well. But like I said, I, I don't feel like putting any alcohol in mine. But if you wish, you could put the alcohol um, in your sour beverage. So I'll just taste now and see if I need to add any more sugar. And that's it. Okay, folks, there you have it. A lovely glass of sour beverage. Remember, you could add some alcohol if you wish, some rum, you know, whatever you wish to give it that, um, that extra kick. But in my fusion, I just didn't feel like putting any rum today, even though I had it in my list of ingredients. All right, enjoy. I think this may be the last of my beverage for this season. I'll be doing some more actual dishes, next few recipes. 
Okay, I may have a surprise to you as well in the next couple of weeks. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.